everyone, welcome to the Heather Bling Show. Today my first guest is the fabulous Tracy Litt of The Lit Factor. Tracy, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be with you. Oh, well, I'm happy to have you. This girl, let me tell you what, she is a powerhouse. Um, she's a life coach, but I'm not going to get too much into it and let her talk look, and talk for her. I'm going to let her talk for herself. So tell us a little bit about what you do. Thank you so much. Um, so I am a life coach and a speaker and founder of The Lit Factor, which is a personal growth and coaching company. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I help people reach the next level of themselves. Um, I work with a variety of clients, and all my clients are absolutely absolute rock stars. Um, and it depends on what you're coming to me for. Mm -hmm. In the most basic term, it's getting you from where you are now to where you want to be. Okay. Um, it's really mastering your inner game and starting to live from a space of understanding. Your life happens from the inside out, mm -hmm. not the outside in. Wow. Well, that's yeah. uh, that's a very simple way of putting it. And uh, so tell, I, I've actually heard you speak on uh, on a few different occasions. And you know what I what I love about this woman is that she can talk for all of thirty seconds, and you are glued to every word that she's saying. But what's even better is that when she gets done talking, say that it was even five minutes. I've I've had the pleasure of having her speak for thirty minutes at my events. Is like you feel so good, and like she was saying, you feel like a rock star. Like you're just ready to take over the world and go for it. So tell us a little bit about uh, you know your speaking engagements about what you do. Thank you. Uh, so I speak in workshops and private seminars. I do keynote events. Uh, I speak at networking groups. You know, anytime I have the opportunity to speak and inspire people, you know, at the heart of it, I wake up every day very, very purposefully to wake up and wake you up <laughs> to how great you really are. You know, we all kind of live in this um, limitation and these yeah. beliefs that are not so serving. And for me to be able to hold the space for you to realize, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are that unbelievably amazing. Yes, you are limitless. No, you aren't all the things people said or all the doing all the things you think you should be doing. Mm -hmm. And you really, really really allow yourself to peel off the layer and the gunk and step out into what's true for you, that's that's what I love. That's what I love to do with people, and that's what I speak about most frequently. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is something that you did when you spoke at my uh, at my meeting is that you gave us a very simple breathing exercise. Would you share that with our viewers? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> so not only do I believe in breathing so much that it's tattooed on me, like for real. Oh, fantastic, okay. love um, it. I also wear my necklace, my key necklace, breathing, because breathing is key. And before I go through the exercise with you, which I'm thank you for asking me to do that because it's such a gift and you will use this forever because it's always on you. It costs no money and all you need to do is choose to do it. Yep. Um, the reason why breathing in and of itself is such a gift is number one, it drops you out of your head and into your heart, right? It calms you down. It actually sends new signals into your brain that's usually going, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. And all of a sudden you can just kind of <sighs> calm down mm -hmm. and when you're in that space where you've kind of dropped into yourself and you've calmed your interrupted your nervous system now you can start making the choices to align yourself into how you want to feel and who you want to be and what you want to do and what you want to create instead of running through your life like a zombie in a reactionary mode yeah. so that's why this is so critical mm -hmm. so the breath I'm going to teach you today we're going to actually go even a little bit better than the one I taught you last time Ooh, I'm okay excited, I do the one that you taught me last time every single day okay and I always do it just before we film so anytime you've got to get up and speak or do something important it's better but it's good any yes. time of the day yeah multiple times a day actually yeah I'm so glad you said that it is yeah. the kind of thing you can set a reminder on your phone and mm -hmm. just anytime check in and drop down uh, and you're right anytime you're feeling nervous um, which little quick side note did you know that your body physiologically doesn't know the difference between whether or not it's nervous or excited, meaning the way that you respond, wow. the sweat under your armpits, the butterflies in your stomach, that thing that goes on in your neck, mm -hmm. that is, what happens is you get to tell your body what's happening. So your body responds and you get to say, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, am I, am I gonna suck? Is this gonna go well? Or you can tell your body to go, 
I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to do this. And then you're directing your body that all that stuff that's happening is a sign of your excitement instead of a sign of your nervousness. Wow. So, a little bonus tip. Good to know. I like um, that one. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to interrupt our nervous system today okay. by doing what I call the 478. It's not fancy. It's exactly the pattern in which we're going to breathe. Okay. So, we're going to breathe in for a count of four. We're going to float and hold it at the top for seven. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to release out and exhale for eight. But we're going to do it with our tongue right on the top of your of the roof of your mouth by the front of your teeth with sound like this. And I want you to visualize deflating a balloon like all the way out, okay? okay. So we're about to get really calm up in here. Yes. So join us. Ready? We're going to go ahead and close your eyes. I'm going to do it too. We're going to close your eyes. You're going to breathe in for four. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold it at the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now put your tongue up and breathe out for eight. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in for four. Hold it. Let it out. Mm, that's so yummy. Isn't that yummy? How do you oh feel my, right now? I'm so calm. You go right oh my gosh. I, I think I just went from like a normal Heather Bling time to about a Heather Bling too, but in a very, very good way. Yeah, it's yeah. really I true. felt my shoulders drop. That's the most dramatic thing. And I always do that every time that I do like a breathing exercise, especially the one that you gave me, which was even shorter, but that one's even better. I'm telling you, my shoulders felt like they were here and now they're down at a normal height. So yeah. amazing. I'm so glad. And really, yeah. you know, we think we're breathing. It's, it's one of the many, many things that I work with people on mm -hmm. because because we're, we just, until you're working with someone that can help shine the light on your stories and your thoughts and your habits and your behaviors, mm -hmm. right? We think we're breathing because you're breathing, right? I mean, your eyes blink automatically, your heart beats, you breathe. <laughs> yeah. But are you really breathing? We're not actually breathing to the capacity that we can because when we're babies, we're born and we breathe nice and deep. And then life starts to happen and stress occurs, right? And then all of a sudden, our breath as we mature becomes more and more and more shallow, mm -hmm. which is why we feel like we live in this perpetual hamster wheel of stress and we walk around as if that's some like way that it's supposed to be wow. but it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't so <laughs> when you breathe you really allow yourself to chill out and start to make different decisions in life Wow. Yeah. And it's just amazing. And that took all of what, probably 20 seconds or so? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, listen, if you don't have 20 seconds to calm yourself down and breathe, just stop and do it anyway. Absolutely. <laughs> I say if you don't have 20 seconds to stop, you need three hours. Okay. Let's call yeah. it what it is, right? Yeah. And really understanding that even stopping to breathe, that is a choice you're making for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. in, in the way when you were talking before about, you know, speaking and what I do with people, it's starting to live in, in a life of choice and starting to realize me breathing or not breathing on purpose is a choice that I'm making. Whatever I'm experiencing in my life right now, I'm choosing it because I'm allowing it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So how do you access your power of choice to be who you want to be? Mm -hmm. Right. It's pretty unbelievably awesome. It is. And it's so simple. Right. It really is. And it is. Yeah. It, and, and most things when it comes to personal growth and expansion, consciousness are simple in theory, mm -hmm. the place where a lot of times there's challenge is your execution, your awareness, and your practice and consistency of the simple theories and tools and tactics, right? It's kind of like when you want to get really fit and healthy, if you don't go to the gym consistently, you're not going to gain the results that you want. Yeah. It's no different when you're working on your mind, your spirit, and your soul. Mm -hmm. So you really just have to make it a habit. Make it a point of taking care of you, and then you can go and take care of the rest of the world. Right, and the rest of everything about you. Because yeah. when you're doing the investing in yourself, right, when you're doing the work of you, mm -hmm. the thing that I don't want you to gloss over is everything in your life is grows out of you. Right? So to, to worry just about the business or just about the things outside of you or just about the next car you're going to get or the next position or, you know, how you're going to handle this or that, if you would stop and do the you work first, mm -hmm. <laughs> everything else just 
starts to fall exactly where it needs to fall for you. Mm -hmm. And that's why investing in yourself is the, the way to go. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally agree. And like I said, you know, that breathing, I do it multiple times a day. And I think you mentioned, you know, setting an alarm on your phone. Set an alarm on your phone for 3 p.m. in the afternoon. That's always my favorite one. You know, because usually at that time of day, you're kind of like, you know, you're running around, just everything's like really, really chaotic. And my alarm goes off at three o'clock every day and it doesn't matter what I'm doing. If I'm in a meeting, I excuse myself, I go to the restroom, I take my 20 seconds, I do my breathing, I come back, and I'm like a new person. Yeah. I'm yeah. so glad that that works for you. Oh, it, it's an incredible, incredible tool. It I really love is. it. I love it. That's yes. awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I wanted to mention, I think you said that you have a, a gift that you'd like to offer for our viewers. Yes, I do. I have a gift. And I have to tell you, this gift... Um, was born out of a, a, a speaking, a live show that I did, and it is such a passion project of mine, and I'm thrilled to be able to gift it to all of you. It is a short, sweet, and straight to your heart ebook called 17 Invitations. Get out of your own way and start loving your life. And what it's about is we think that in order to have more energy and more love and more success and more peace, we need to do more. What I'm telling you is that you actually need to do less. So it's 17 obstacles and things that I am inviting you to give up so that you can reach more joy and more peace and more fulfillment right now. So how do they get the ebook? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Lit Factor um, website, which is www.thelitfactor, and that's L-I-T-T, -T, two T's. And when you go to the Lit Factor, you'll see in the top navigation bar, it says 17 Invitations, which is the name of the ebook. You click that, you'll see it right there. You enter your email in, and within 30 seconds, it will be in your inbox. Fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. And uh, is the best way to reach you through your website, or is there any yes. other contact info you'd like to share? Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, through the website so is definitely you know the best route to go. You can also read you know lots more about me, and you also have access to connecting to the Lit Factor Facebook page and YouTube, which has heaps and mounds of videos and live replays and articles and just content for you to start shifting uh, on your own. So you can visit the website at thelitfactor.com and get every you need from there. Okay, fantastic. Well, Tracy, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Thank you, Heather, for having me. You're amazing oh. and a gift to us all, is she not? <laughs> oh, thank you.